Great marketers understand accounting. This is particularly important for you guys who learn marketing on the streets by hacking together, experimenting, doing things like copywriting. Ultimately, there's going to be a limit to what you can achieve by being scrappy, and you're going to have to start thinking like an accountant. So what I mean here is the big picture. So what I have here are three different things. There's first the income statement, second the balance sheet, and third growth and the future. Now, where do most marketers think? They think in terms of the income statement. And what they're thinking about is, can I create an ad, an email, a website that generates revenue, that gets customers to respond, that gets them to buy. But there's a limit to how much you can accomplish by only obsessing over the income statement. At some point, you need to think about the balance sheet. Because the balance sheet is where you really start to achieve economies of scale by investing in things like brands and other assets that I'm going to talk about later. And then when you're thinking in terms of the really long term, then you're thinking about real growth and the future where you're expanding into new markets. There's new industries, new technologies that are emerging. So this is really how people like Warren Buffett, value investors like Bruce Greenwald think of the business world. They're thinking in terms of these three types of buckets. And underlying all of them is the essence of competitive advantage. So when we look at Bruce Greenwald, he's talking about basically three types of sustainable competitive advantages. There's economies of scale, customer captivity, and government protection. So basically what you want to do is operate in markets where you can achieve one or more of these, where you can achieve economies of scale, you can achieve customer captivity, or you have some sort of license or other government protection. Because if you don't have any of these, then your competitors are gonna demolish you and you really don't stand a chance. Now, for those of you in startup mode, you can think of short-term competitive advantages. These are things like temporary aberrations in the market that gives you arbitrage opportunities. Like uh, perhaps there's a hole in the market that competitors have neglected. There's a new channel like TikTok where there's low competition. Those can give you some sort of a temporary competitive advantage. Now, in terms of timeframes, really the income statement is mostly what you should be focused on if you're a small business or you're a startup business, you don't have a lot of money, you don't have a lot of time. Now, if you're a small business and you have millions of dollars of an investment, then you can think about the balance sheet. But generally, small companies should be focused on the short term, what will generate revenue. And those types of things are gonna be things like email marketing, cold emails, direct response, acquisition experiments, those types of things. So the focus here is generally variable expenses. So is there an extra cost to run that ad, to send that direct mail, uh, to create a new landing page? Now, as you get larger and you start thinking more in terms of long-term competitive success, you're thinking more in terms of fixed investments, less in terms of variable expenses, more how much am I willing to pour to dedicate uh, to some big investment, like owning a market with a brand? And then when you're thinking really long term and you're thinking about a lot of uncertainties and emer the emerging aspects of the market, then you're more concerned with the strategic direction of the company. You're thinking about things like risk. Well, uh, we're very successful perhaps with our fixed investments in this market today, but we're worried about what's going to happen in the future, maybe with some sort of catastrophe or maybe with uh, new competitors that may be uh, moving into the market. So then uh, we're thinking more in terms of uh, strategic considerations, less in terms of immediate financial considerations, and more in terms of long-term protection. So those are the three buckets to think about. There's the short-term, the mid-term, and then the long-term.